Jeff Zucker, president of CNN, explains to his editorial team on the 9 a.m. call that we recorded that they should, quote, lean in to not normalizing Trump's erratic behavior. Listen to this. Okay, I, I just want to reemphasize that, uh, you know, I, I think we, we cannot normalize what has happened here uh, in the last week with Trump and his behavior. And I, I go back to what David said, David Chalian said, that this is a president who knows he's losing, who knows he's in trouble, uh, is sick, maybe is uh, on, on uh, the after effects of steroids or not, I don't know, but he is acting erratically and desperately. And we, we need to, uh, 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 we need to, we need to not normalize that. You know, this is what we've come to expect uh, for the last three and a half years, four years, but it clearly is exacerbated by uh, the time that we're in and the issues that he's dealing with. And I think that we cannot just let, let it be normalized. He is all over the place and acting erratically. And I think we need to lean into that. The, 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 the Trump media, uh, you know, moves immediately from, okay, well, never mind that unmasking was, you know, uh, found to be completely nonsensical to, to the latest uh, uh, alleged scandal and uh, expect everybody to just follow suit. So uh, I, I don't think that we should be repeating unsubstantiated uh, smears just because the right wing media suggests that we should. Frankly, if we've made any mistake, it's that our banners have been too uh, polite and, and we need to go well after Lindsey Graham. There's a ton going on. Let's stay strong. Let's stay newsy. Let's stay urgent. Let's, let's uh, be smart. There is uh, a lot of news out there and uh, Lindsey Graham really deserves it. Each of these so-called scandals for Trump, each of these things, we should just once again be careful to say that this is the one that uh, is going to undo him with his voters. And to respond to uh, David Chalian's uh, uh, points about politics, um, I don't know why we would expect any of these politicians to have a conscience and or expect that politics wouldn't be completely hypocritical and for us to expect anything else would be naive.